going on, everybody? Welcome to SAG. Welcome back. If you're here before I end the end, I'm joined by the boisterous Bosnian, Foley, and Tori's here. Say hi, Tori. Hi. She says hi. Keep, like, twice that volume. Hi. That's so you're like, loud. You're like, yo. I don't think I can talk that loud. Just to, what up? You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> this uh, The thing is, can he do it and her do it at the same time? You got I a believe voice. in one of them. We got a voice in here. Speaking of voices, we got some commander for you, obviously. We got four. Co yeah, you can just pass those out. We got four commanders, um, and, and what they are is they're, they're, is there a budget restriction to this? I didn't even check. Not really. We're just playing commanders we wanted to play, right? That yes. Seems yes. right. All right, Tori, you start. You're like a stream favorite, so your <laughs> deck is at least. Yeah, everyone loves Feather. It's because Feather has red hair, and we all know that red hair are the best. I mean, come on. Biased, but what's your deck do, dude? Uh, draw cards. Sick. Uh, win the game with you know. With damage. With damage? With damage. Love that for you. Speaking of drawing cards and winning the game with damage, I'm playing Jetmere Nexus of Rebels, which is basically just Feather with Green. Yeah. Um, actually, it's a token strategy. We go wide and we try to not draw cards. There's not very much of that in the deck. We do be trying to deal damage, though. And uh, we're going to do it by hopefully having enough creatures to trigger ne Jetmere Nexus of Rebels, Rebels last static ability, saying creatures you control also get plus one, plus zero, and have double strike as long as you control nine or more creatures. Six or more is Trample, and then three or more is Vigilance, and they all get plus wow. one plus all. So big creatures go burr. Hey. Yo, today we're going to have the Emperor's voice within us. Um, I never I had to so. play this deck. I built it. I think Calvin played it once, and he won with it. Uh, we are going to put some spicy auras on our decks. like playing balls. Or on our guy, like Spirit Man. You get yeah, one aura for the price of two. Yeah. It's, yeah. Very, it's very nice. Speaking uh, of balls. 29 or two for 50. Or okay. 29 or 2 for 40. I'm playing Actually, Braids. 2 for free. 2 for free. I'm going to draw cards free. better than Tori. Yeah, braids what? is going to draw cards better than Tori? Hopefully. Is it because Braids has a card draw mechanic built into it? Yeah. That's amazing. Who's ready for card game? I am. 1, 2, 3. I win. I Actually, lose. Foley got Richard uh, Garfield. He wins. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't. All right. I guess I am the keeper. No, the, the keeper of tokens is also the keeper of the... Manning the computer right now. All right, is everyone ready? I got an opener. You guys got openers? I got openers. Yeah. Let's, let's go. All right, let's go. Snow cover swamp and a skull clamp. Okay. Is that the Kaido Shizuki skull clamp? Sure is. Yo. High key jealous. Go ahead. Snake. Draw. Um, I play Wooded Foothills. Pass. Wooded Foothills. You don't want to fetch now? So I mm know. -hmm. Don't fetch them. All right, mm -hmm. I'm gonna draw. That's a pretty cool one. Let's do um, Kerpolzen Forest, which uh, can make two colors of mana. And one of those is green, but I have to lose a life when I tap it to produce green. Uh, this is an Avacent Pilgrim, aka um, Bogmore Elves, but not. Yeah, go ahead. All right, I'll take my turn, draw. Ooh, that was a good draw. Um, we're gonna play a Plains, and then we're gonna Soul Ring. So, what? Mm, yes, better than Avacent Pilgrim. Pass. <laughs> Sick one drop, Tori. I know, I'm sorry. Here's a Snow Carver Swamp. Here is a Nether Trader. The yes. thing has haste. And shadow. And oh, shadow. In response Jeez. to the nether trader? Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's not a Dolphy void walker, I'm you know? scared. Oh, okay, got it. Are you gonna path it? Oh, are you gonna do nothing to it? Yeah. Cool, are you gonna attack with that? Cool. Um, hey, he's at 40, I'm just saying. Yeah, I, I'm just saying. You gotta, you gotta be at 39, dude. I'd love that for you. And then, yeah. Tori, when you're ready, you can go. Are you gonna get a uh, sacred, whatever it is? Sacred Foundry? A sacred patron. Or a prairie, or what is it called? Hey, what's the name of the red, white dual land? Plateau? Plateau. 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 I want a plateau. I can't remember if there's one in here. You can't remember if there's a dual land in your deck? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense to me at all. <laughs> I haven't played this deck in a while. Are you I the, guess not. Is it Sacred Foundry? It's it Sacred Foundry. And it's tapped. I mean, if you have a plateau in your deck and you're not using the mana now, wouldn't it make more sense to get Sacred Foundry tapped so you don't draw it later and pay too late? I don't need logic like that. <laughs> Imagine. He's, he's doing the thing. It's happening. Oh, no. Alright, Tori, are you going to pitch a um, Simeon Spirit Guide to play your Feather out of turn early? No. I'm going to no. draw a card, though. Bad news. <laughs> she got there. <laughs> I'm going to play Aaron Mason and Pets. Oh, that's not very oh, good. Oh, what? Untap and draw. Ooh. We bopping. Um, but I think instead of bopping, we, we play in the Sungrass Prairie, um, which is kind of like a filter land. So when I tap this for colorless, and then use that colorless to tap this for green white, and then add white. You have green white white. Yeah. I'll or I could lie. Was that a lie? I'm a lying you. liar. Actually, I'm gonna pay a life to make a red, and then I'm gonna tap this for white and to make green and white. 
the important part is the red, because this is Krinko, Ten, ten Street Kingpin. Whenever he attacks, put a plus one, plus one counter on, then create a number of one, one red Gobble creature tokens equal to his power, which currently is one, but it'll be more later. Yeah. Pass. All right, on tap, draw. Ooh. Okay. Um, we're we're going to play planes. Surprise. Typical. Krenko's pretty cool. Um, we're going to play a light pause floating on colorless. Yeah. And use the colorless to play Hero Virus. Ooh, what does this do? Oh, yeah, it's the heroic card. The, the, my all aura spells cost you, one less. All aura spells cost one less. And then when you cast a aura spell, it has heroic, so it gets a plus one plus one counter. Wow. Wow. It's pretty nice. All set? Yeah. Cool. Let's draw. Holy be like, put Skull Collab on this Nether Trader and make my third. You would draw. think that. <laughs> Nobody's going to play Braids. Yeah. Uh, yeah, here's Braids. All right, what does this card do? So at the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice an artifact, creature, enchantment, land, or planeswalker. If you do, each opponent may sacrifice a permanent that shares a card type with it. For each opponent who doesn't, that player loses two life and I draw a card. Cool. Yeah. So anyway, I started blasting. Mm. I didn't take one. Yeah. It has shadow. It has yeah, shadow. I do have to take that one. Cool. At the beginning of my end step, Sacrifice another trader. I'm gonna pay two life and you're gonna draw a card. Yep. I'm gonna also pay two life and you're gonna draw a card and fetch and lose another life. So you're at 36 because you're fetching. Do you want to sacrifice life. a creature or lose two life? Is it two life or you draw a card? Both. It's both. Oh, both. <laughs> Breeds is good. I will lose that too and you can draw. So I'm gonna draw three. Isn't that just great? <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm Nine. going to discard down to hand size. Imagine that. We're gonna put. I'm not gonna play it though. I'm gonna put protection racket into the graveyard. Got it. Go Sick. ahead. Amazing. Would you get Misfield some planes. Misfield planes? You can tap it and a white to put a card from your graveyard to the bottom of your library. And oh, you can loop a card. That's very cool. cool. That's very cool. That is a fetchable target. Mm -hmm. It's fetchable. It's fetchable. You're fetchable. Yes. Tori is the slowest shuffler in the West. I am. <laughs> Also, you shuffled this deck earlier and told me how sh trash the it, sleeves are. They feel like sandpaper. It's not great. I think it's time to get... I don't know if it's because they're dragon shields and their quality's dropped, or if it's that, like, they're just old. I don't know. It's either. probably a mix of both. Untap. Draw. Wow. <laughs> Did the bad thing happen? We were vamping before the before the video started that there's no blue at this table, and Tori definitely has Red Elemental Blast in her deck. And Py Pyroblast. Yay. Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna play Feather. Six. Six, no. six, 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 six. I'm deaf. I'm cute. Draw. Damn it. <laughs> you know, I kept a really low land count on hand, and I've been drawing my lands, and that's just, I love that for me. Here's a Wooded Bastion, which is another type of filter land, except for this one can produce its own mana. Um, then I think I will tap. Who's gonna board wipe? <laughs> nah. It won't happen. I'm gonna will it out of existence. Here's a Selesia, Selesnia Signet. And I'm gonna go to combat. Um, rats. I'll get no, that's actually moment. goblins. So um, I'm gonna attack with this Krinko, and after my combat, I'm gonna get up and get better dice for it because I completely forgot. But what happens is I'm gonna enter the combat, which mm -hmm. is where I want to be, and then I'm gonna declare this Krinko is an attacker. How big is Braids? Three, three, three. How big is Feather? A three, four. Your stuff's big too. Man, <laughs> sounds like I can't afford to care. I didn't. <laughs> I'm gonna attack you for one, but. It gets a plus one plus one counter, yeah. and then I'm gonna create two one one goblin tokens. Do they come out? I know it's a two choose. three. I think they just come into play. I don't think they attack. Oh, they're not attack. yeah, they're not attacking. Okay. There's one ones that are on tap. Oh, okay, so it's two just the two three card. It's just a two three coming in. No, you, you guessed right. It's I kind three. of felt like you wouldn't block, and then after that, I think I'm gonna do one more action. I'm just gonna put these one ones into play, and for my last action, because I don't believe in board wipes, I'm gonna add a colorless and make that color listen to green white and add another white and play another army in a can. It's Briaz! No. Briaz, king You're of Oriskos. Then I'll pass. Okay, untap, draw, time to have my fun. Um, Armageddon. Wow. Isn't this fun, guys? Armageddon. I was gonna get this off of this, but now I drew it. Doesn't it suck when you draw Soul Ring and you have an Urgent Saga? <laughs> it's kind of what just happened Basically, to Basically, I'm gonna play Planes. And then I think this is definitely happening, but for three. For uh, free? For three mana, because of this duder. We're gonna have one colorless floating. We're gonna equip Light Paws with Holy Mantle. Okay. okay. Holy Mantle! What's that do, buddy? Holy Mantle. It's gonna enchant this creature. 
It's gonna give it plus two, plus two, and protection from creatures. But wait, I get to tutor. Uh, let's see here. Light Paw specifically lets you go get an enchantment aura with equal to or lesser CMC, or is it? Yes, correct, correct. Got it. So you're gonna go with Spirit Mantle? No, we already have Holy Mantle. Oh, same thing. We need something with Lifelink, probably. Either Lifelink, or you can just go with like Ethereal I Armor. I was gonna get like Indestructibility, but we don't need Ethereal Armor, actually. We have it in our hand. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what that one white man is gonna do. Uh, is there a number that gave light? Okay, let me look through this. Oh, wait, I think day, Daybreak Cornet. Look at that. Daybreak <laughs> Vigilance Life. Like, plus look three, plus that. three. Sounds like Daybreak Cornet's the pick. <laughs> Love that for you. So, yeah, we're gonna do that one. That seems like a good one. Uh, why am I shuffling? Um, we're gonna go planes. Because this costs one less. Uh, we're gonna put all that glitters onto. Yeah. That's kind of like Ethereal Armor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But wait, now you can go get a two drop or less. Wow, that's pretty scary. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> like Paul's is a little cracked. Why isn't your feather deck doing this, dude? <laughs> it's not cool like that. You've got like this whole other color. It's crazy. You could get it flying, but we don't need to do that. Does uh, it have vigilance yet? It, it does. does. I like, what do we even <laughs> absolutely hate point? that. <laughs> it's keyword soup. I guess we could just get another ethereal armor. Very cool. While you're doing that, I'm just gonna figure out the size of this thing. It's a 2-2 two -two is the base. That makes it a 4-4. Four 5-6-7-7. Four. Seven, seven. 8. 9-10-11. 12. 13-14-15. You have a 15-15. Well. With apparently... What turn uh, is it? <laughs> three. Yeah, does it matter? <laughs> With Vigilance, no, First sir, Strike, and Lifelink. Oh, yeah, right. I've played three lands. You don't have Trample or Flight. I don't have Trample or Flight. But or protection it doesn't from matter. Creatures. You've got Protection from Creatures. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fully. Yeah. Just yeah. because you played Black, yeah. and I'm afraid of you still. Attack you. Cool. Get Deadly Relic, idiot. Bil diligence. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Dude, How could I expect Deadly Relic? Dude, you just got Deadly Relic. Was there no way to protect the creature? Probably not. Wait, Deadly Relic exiles, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. bro, wouldn't have done shit. Yeah. I probably should have got a protection from something. Right. At uh, 2 CMC, I don't know if there is. I mean, there might be. I'm, but, eh. Hey. We fucked up. It's too late now. Now Foley gets He'll to be back. <laughs> All set? <laughs> Alright, cool. Foley, what you got? Um, Are you gonna attack with braids? Is it me? No. Ow. Uh, actually, let's do this one. Vault of Whispers? Absolutely. It's not as well. Let's go three and play Treacherous Blessing. When it enters the battlefield, I draw three cards. Oh, that one. That's from the as the Doom Foretold spell. Um, whenever I cast a spell, I lose one life. And then when it becomes a target of a spell or ability, sacrifice it. Cool. And you can just sacrifice it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, uh, that's just a draw three. Eight okay. cards in hand, very cool. I have three. Let's talk about this. Let's move to end step. Okay, no attack, wow. Sacrifice. An enchantment? Yeah. I'm gonna pay two life. You don't have an enchantment, you're gonna pay two life. You had enchantments, they're all gone. They're all gone. One more. There may be a way to get them back, though. <laughs> How many do you have to discard? Three? Whoops, that's one more than I needed. Do you have to discard four cards to hand size? I have to just yeah, four cards. Wow. Tori, right. you're up, Doug. Wow. On tap. Draw. Hey, attack fully. <laughs> <laughs> He's been discarding the hand size since turn two. Yeah. <laughs> or something like that. Um, but he was the hero. Wins one. <laughs> yeah, wins one tooth. Nice web blast. <laughs> Isn't it great? Yeah, dude. I'm so happy about it. I'm happy for you. Well, you gotta die. <laughs> and then you gotta die. I don't yeah. know how fast you can do that again. How many cards are in here? It won't be as good if I can't get these back, but... Yeah. Oh. I have three in hand. I don't oh. have any flying blockers. <sighs> I don't have any flying blockers either. I'll attack you for three, Foley. Three's three. good. 
That's all I have. Oh. I'll play uh, Sunforger, though. Hey. Sheesh. Sheesh. That's pretty good. Is that it? That's it. All right, this is about to get really gross if no one has anything for me. I don't know. If I don't have anything. I don't know if anyone's done the math, but it gets it gets gross from here. Oh man, I got a different thing. I want oh wait, to do. the solitude. Nope. Huh? I've got access to five mana right now, and it could be six, which isn't enough to play Felidar Retreat. So I guess we're just gonna forego it. We're gonna forego it in place of being a funny boy. Here's a Plains as my land for turn. Don't hurt me. I want to hurt someone so badly. Don't hurt me. Um, let's do let's do some grass prairie gets tapped by planes to make white and green, and I'm gonna leave a white floating to play birds of paradise. Yeah. Um, but with that white floating, that white will make green and white, um, with which I can use to make a red. Well, I guess I'm just making the red here and paying a life. So I've got Naya floating, and then with that Naya, I'll make more Naya with my wooded bastion. And play Jetmir, Nexus of Rebels. Yeah. Okay. So right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So all of my creatures get plus one, plus zero, have trample, and that's it. But now I want to go to Declare Attackers. Okay, Foley. Yeah. What's going on over there? Let's find out. If you got kill spells, I just need you to use them as fast as possible. And we're good to declare. Yeah. Foley, I'm gonna attack you for one, two, three, four, five. This will trigger for six. Um. Seven, eight, do you have trample? You do. Fully, the whole team's coming at you because they have haste as well, right? Do they not have haste? Trample, double strike, vigilance. No, no, no haste. So this is hanging back, these are hanging back. This Bremaz isn't, this bird is hanging back, but this doesn't have to. I'm gonna come at you for all these. That's gonna trigger this, and we'll say three just came into play, but two are attacking you. Okay. And by my math. And like, did you get the Yeah, we're getting a key oh, okay. to yeah. token as well. So here's the three that just came into play because it's equal to the power. Yeah, equal to power. So these three just came into play. Brinaz triggered, and I get another 1-1. One, one. But if I do a quick count of my board, you're going to find that I have over nine creatures. Yeah. So that's going to make the total damage um, plus three. And, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, no, 17. No, this isn't attacking. Do you make an attack of Brinaz? Yeah, yeah. Right. so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, you could have been like, hey, I'm waiting. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> That's so mean. Mm -hmm. I guess what I did was mean. All right. The fox is back. Yeah. Listen to what he has to say. He's the emperor's voice. What he has to say is uh, inviolability. What's that do? Prevent all damage that would be dealt to en enchanted creatures. Damage cannot be dealt to this thing. Love that trigger light pause. Trigger light pause. Now you can get spirit mantle. I could get Spear Mantle now, I mean, maybe that's the play now. I don't know, a creature that has protection from creatures and can't Seems be damaged good. by creatures? Is that redundant? I don't know. It might be redundant. Let me see if there's a protection from colors at CMC. I guess Spear Mantle makes it unblockable with that card doesn't, right? Yeah. An Umbra wouldn't be bad. An Umbra isn't terrible. If someone has a board wipe looking over at my side of the board, it would make sense to use it at some point in the near future. I do have board wipes, I don't know where they are. <laughs> I'll, I'll be 100% I'll be real with you. I don't have one right now. I'm just going to keep doing this till morale improves or my board gets wiped, so. That's fair. Give me a sec here. I think I play one board wipe. Is it is it Wrath of God? No, it's the one that lets you pick one creature. So oh. I can pick five. Yeah, yeah. Oops. I'll give it that one. Just so everyone's clear, my, the, these these this tapped and untapped one ones are uh, goblins. Um, this is a Breed S token. I am most certainly running out of gas real quick. Me too. But at least they have lethal in play. Yeah. So that's not a bad place to be, I guess. Does uh, Jetmir not have haste? No, I do not believe so. Okay. The keywords you get we are found it. Vigilance, uh, Trample, and Double Strike. He does okay. not grant haste. Benevolent Blessing. What's that one do? Enchant Creature. As Benevolent Blessing enters the battlefield, choose a color. Enchant Creature has protection from chosen color. This effect doesn't remove auras. Black. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. 
and then pass. Okay. Just shuffling up. Right. Right, Foley, what you want to sacrifice so you can draw six cards again? <laughs> Hang on. You gotta pick out the swap art he wants to play. Um, not, sort of. Sort of. Let's uh, let's put Toon Fortress into play tapped. Toon Fortress, as seen by Pegasus. Um. Let's play Animate Dead. Oh man, what's in your graveyard? <laughs> I'm gonna bring back Size and Perverter of Truth. Hey man, what's that do? At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player uh, loses two life and draws two cards. Hey. Oh, everybody. Oh, okay. Bet. That's cool. I'm okay with that. This is when he plays Chains of Mephistopheles. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Um. Shit. I hope we got some removal, man. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Hey man. How many cards you got in your hand now? Like five? Five. Yeah. Indeed. Indubitably. Let's figure it out. If you attack, I won't block, bro. Okay. Never mind the double striking fatties. They're double striking? Oh my yeah. god. Oh dude, it's bad. <laughs> Guy had one thing in mind when he built this deck. It was like <laughs> straight up violence. See, here's the thing. I, I don't think there's anything, any actual outs that I have. Hey, you can always just put Skull Clamp on one of your creatures and call it a day. That's what I was thinking. You can sacrifice Skull Clamp. I don't think anyone except for Aiden has artifacts to sacrifice. Wait, nope, just me. Do I have an artifact? Yeah. No. I'm going to move to end step and I'm going to sacrifice Skull Clamp. Got it. Uh, I'm going to lose two life. Are you going to sacrifice your s Sun Forger? Look at that. No. You get to draw three. No. I didn't think you would. Well, that was a turn too late. Oh, was that damnation? Uh, one, two, you three, might four, live. five, six, seven, eight. I am going to discard. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Murder. Damn. Oh, if you're discarding, Tori can just. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, while you discard, I'm going to Yeah. I got you. You're 31. Uh, Gixi and Puppeteer. Got it. It's a basic plans, right? Yeah. On um, your end step, I'm also. Gonna play this card. Nervous? Nevis? Nervous Wisps. Oh, it's a Wisps card. I play Wisps cards. This specific one says target, cre target creature becomes white until end of turn. <laughs> Tap that creature. Draw a card. This one's really weird, but I guess it just draws you a card every turn. When does Feather Trigger? Feather says, whenever you cast an sort of sorcery spell that targets a creature you control, exile, exile that card instead of putting it into your graveyard as it resolves. If you do return it to your hand at the beginning of the next end step, I guess you could do this at the end of the second main so you get it back in your hand immediately, right? Yeah, it's not too yeah. relevant. Yeah. It's just do you want it next turn or like at the end of your next turn? It would make sense to cast it on end oh, step. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, it would make sense to cast it on end step. She draw her. Did no, she, she's, oh. this is on my end step. Oh, okay. Do you have. Uh, I'll, I'll have upkeep. So draw two cards. Draw two, lose two? Yep, and then draw your card for turn. Oh. See? I'm helping. Wow. Alright, Tori, can you win now? Because you have like all your resources? Because Foley is a communist. <laughs> I did draw the card you didn't want me to draw. Is, it a, is it a board wipe? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to kill you, Tori. Promise. Oh. I like Foley. Foley's making me draw three cards a turn. Oh, that's right. What if I killed Aiden? No, no, no. <laughs> if you kill Aiden, I won't board wipe this turn. Lit. Oh, Sorry, Aiden, you gotta die. <laughs> Dude, yeah, this is bullshit. All my eggs are in one basket. I just need to get a kill before Tori decimates me, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is bullshit. You gotta go. Sorry. Foley, you're protected by the bureaucracy. <laughs> I had this. I'll play Boros Sigmund. Yeah, you gotta do. No. Attack Foley with Feather. <laughs> I thought we liked Foley. We do, but you know, you can block. I'll try to keep him in check. Yeah. <laughs> you can block. Let him know who's block. And Aiden's gonna die, so. Is that it? I can't believe uh, this yeah, story. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. Betrayal. Oh. All right, you get your thing off Feather. She didn't board wipe. The funny thing about deals is you don't have to keep them. Do I have to discard if I have eight when I get that? You yes. sure do. Damn. We'll go back to your cleanup stuff. I'll wait. No, I won't. You can discard on your. <gasps> Another army in hand. Did you but, draw your extra two cards? Oh, right. It's fine. Now I can live through a board wipe. Although I will wait for you. You don't gotta kill me. <laughs> I don't think he was gonna kill me. I think he was still gonna target me. No, oh, I told Tori he was I wouldn't definitely gonna kill wipes. me. But now I think I can like play a slower game. Maybe Aiden doesn't have to die. Maybe maybe I should kill you just because I ain't going for you, homie. 
Oh, you're not going for me? I, I had the swords the whole time. All right, bet. Um, <laughs> bet. You did. You did have a swords and you didn't use it. That is, those are just things that are true when you say them in that order. Um, so what if I did this? I haven't played a land yet, nor do I intend to. What if I tap for four and played Toski, Bear of Secrets? Okay. What if I just want to draw infinite cards? Is that okay? That's a lot of card draw. Oh yeah. my god, he's about to draw a lot of cards. Yeah, I'm about to draw a lot of cards. Adrian wins. You're right. I'm not going to kill anybody. Enter combat. Yeah. Didn't think I'd get that far. Let's just pull these back. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, divided by 3 is a number. Um, 16. 16 divided by 3 is that? 15 divided by 3 is 5. So 6 for everybody, because that's actually close to the number. 6, 6, 4? I don't know how to do math. Check this shit out. It would be 6, 6, 4. Thank you, Tori. Um, just for that, you're getting one of the 6s. I'm going to declare all these attackers. <laughs> And um, before picking who I declare them at, I just want to like get the token part out of the way. Um, so there's five coming here, and then that triggers Krinko, who gets a counter. So four more enter, but they're back road. Um, and then Bremaz actually has Vigilance. They all actually have Vigilance, uh, right? You do Vigilance? Yeah, they do Vigilance. So I'm actually never have to tap my creatures. But these things are all attacking, these things are not. Um, and then Bremaz triggers, and I get another 1-1. One, one. For what it's worth, Krenko is giving you goblins based on its power, and Jetnir is giving him more power. Oh, right. Um, one, two, three, plus three. Thank you, Kelly. There we go. That's how many I have. And then another one, one, but this one's not attacking. Okay, we figured it out. So, we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's actually only eleven, because these things are not... This is attacking. Twelve. So that makes it easier. Four, four, four. Iden, I'm going to have... These four coming at you. Uh, Tori, because you, wait, I just did that math awfully. It's fine. Wait, no, I didn't. Tori, these. This <sighs> is <laughs> This is gonna be one of these one ones, so I'll roll this down to four. Tori, these four are gonna come at you, and Iden, these four are gonna come at you. For a grand total of 16 with double strike. I hate math. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen with double strike at you. No, at you. And then fully four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, with double strike. Okay. All right, there we go. They all have trample and double strike. Good, Good luck, luck, everybody else. Well. I'll block one of them since this will live. Yeah. And then um, take. Uh, take the rest, so one, so it's three by four, 12, 22. Dang. Fully. Um, so they all have double strike. They all have double strike. What's, so this is a three, four, or? Uh, these ones are the, no. These, they, are, these are the ones coming at me, right? These are the ones coming at you, yep. So these <laughs> all have double strike, and the smallest ones are these, which are four ones. Four ones with yep. double strike, okay. Yep. I'll block. The, I'll actually block the biggest one with braids. Uh, that's gonna be Jetmir Nexus of Rebels, who I, gives it to all creatures, including himself. Do they have trample? Yes. Okay, that's fine. Five, six, seven, eight. So it's I'll block. Eight. I'll block Jetmir with uh, braids. And how much toughness is behind that? Three. Three. So that's from here. You're gonna take uh, eight times two. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. You're dead. Um, I, and, whoa, whoa, okay, if I'm dead, yeah, yeah, you have to block again. I, I have think. to block again. What's the next the strongest thing? This is the strongest, this is the next strongest. Uh, I guess I'll block Bramaz with Sizem. Yeah. Okay, so Bramaz... And five is behind that. And five is behind that, got it. So now it's going to be, you're taking three off of this Jetmir, which is uh, eight times two, 16, uh, minus the three, so that's 13 coming through here. And then this is uh, six, 12 minus five, so that's uh, 13, and then... Um, seven, so that's what, 21? 21 from those two? 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, you're still dead. I, okay. You're still dead. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> and then, um, I guess before damage. I got, well, did Chris, or, uh, yeah, Tori's got blocks. Shit, I'm gonna draw a card. Oh, homie, you're dead. Dang. I mean, it's just us. Dang. I'm going to, before wait, damage. Wait, <gasps> I'm gonna rain on. Wait, Tori, Tori. I think I'm still dead. No, 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 no. Uh, since you showed, okay, Tori, just pat the jet mirror. How does that say? Uh, all of it the says, effects go all, away. It says him and you. Yeah. Right. You just drew a path, and you're gonna path jet mirror. 
Oh so my god. I go my yeah, you can just hold your guns. Wow. I'd like everybody to erase from their memory that time I tried to kill all of you. <laughs> That's what got it. Yeah, it's sick. Yeah, because I left you alive. Yeah. I was I would have been happy with it. Alright, so hold on, we have to do a remath of all this obnoxious Thanks, guy. Are you watching this guy? Thank you. For the obnoxious math. I'm gonna get a basic uh. mountain. Alright, who's ready for the actual math? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. So I'm back to. Um, I lost 28, so I'm back to. Uh, no, no. So you lost. What did I attack you with? These? Yeah. So instead, you've taken uh, four damage total. Yeah, but what was the original Three. amount? Uh, There's 20. four guys there, right? Yeah. And they'd be four fours each with Jetmir out? Yeah, with double strike. So, so and he blocked one. 32. I took 32. He blocked one. Yeah. Blocked. And I blocked one. So that means it dies. So I took 20... 28. 28, so I'm at 36. Yeah. yeah and then... Right. Wait. And then I take four. Yeah. Yeah. Or no, just three, because you blocked one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then fully, you took the brunt... Uh, you blocked a bunch of stuff. So my stuff actually dies. You put braids in front of Jetmere, that never mattered. You put the big guy in front of Bremaz, which kills Bremaz, meaning fully you take two. Um, yeah, and then real quick before combat damage, first I'm going to Armor of Shadows Braids. Okay. Until I to turn to Kins Indestructible. Got it. And then also I am going to minus three, minus three, the Toski. Oh my god, why? Oh, oh my oh. whole plan. Oh. <laughs> Alright, and then Tori, you're going to take. Uh, How much am I taking, sir? Defile. Defile, you said. You're taking you two. Defiled it. And Tori, you're taking one, two, three, four, five, six. And what do you do to give Indestructible? Uh, Armor of Shadows. Taking six? You're taking six, yeah. And then that broke me. That completely. Yeah. yeah. Um, hey. So then does. Wait, what is Bramaz? Uh, Bramaz is dead. It was a three, four. Oh, is it? Okay, so he's still alive. Yeah. And then, um, so now this was a gob, one of these, so this yeah. can move. These can all move to the same place, so there's four of these. They all had vigilance when they attacked, so that's like that. And then these, I'm passing. That's all I got, guys. Damn. That was such a blowout, Tori. Damn. I don't oh. appreciate it. Draw. Pop that, baby. Oh, draw two more. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Oh my goodness. See, I'm helping. Yes. Can I do both? Three. Yeah, I can. Really Listen, I'm not the great. problem. Okay. Um, float of colorless. Core Spirit Dancer, isn't this great? Oh no. <laughs> Use the colorless and two. We're gonna cast Indestructibility for three. Sick. Trigger this. Uh, trigger this. Uh, let me see what I can get for four or less. My pause is so sick. <laughs> On the bright side, I can just cast Net Jet Mirror again. Right. I'm gonna do it again. Yeah. And luckily, Jetmere doesn't actually need to attack. No, no, he does not. So I guess probably kill me if you can. Or wipe the board, Tori. What? I was too close to the sun. <laughs> Where are my four drops? Four drops? What four drop could you even get? Oh, this one. Sage's Re Reverie. Ooh, what's that do? Enchant creature. Enchant, uh, when it enters the battlefield, I draw a card for each aura attached to this creature. And then it gets plus one, plus one for each aura attached to it. Neat. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's, ooh. You have a destructibility on there, right? Yep. Nice board wipe. And uh, protection from black. And protection from damage. Wow. And protection from creatures. You need this card. Right. No, not protection from creatures. He's going to pick that one anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We do not have a spirit mantle effect. Good. So. Are you going to combat? Uh, yeah. Are you going to make an enemy? Is it me? It's Foley. He's been my enemy the whole game. Foley, you're, you're the enemy. I don't think I'm the problem. I don't know. You did just kill my Toski. Sounds no, like a problem to me. I can't get through to him. So it's yeah, not it's him. True. Okay. Uh, gang, gang. But we do have what if, something what if, for him. Uh, it's just not time. Uh, combat. I don't think Tori is the enemy. So, yeah. How much here. am I taking? 
Let's see. So here. much. Oh, I gotta draw my cards too. Uh, let's see here. We got one, two, three, four attached to it. One, two, three, four. And, and the total power is two, three, not a whole lot. Four, five. For each aura, it's six. The only the only uh, power modifier you have on is the Sage's Reverie, so it's yeah. six damage. I'll yeah. take six. So you got six commander on you. And uh, I'll pass the turn, but I got this card, so we're going to discard. Hold it. Yay. Okay. All right, cool. Fully, we're cool. Now lose two, draw two, you draw had, from the turn. You had to kill the Toski, huh? I sure did. All right, play the Snowcover Swamp. Hey, that's pretty cool. It doesn't help me? Not really. <laughs> Not right now. Block. I'll block. Let's, um... I'll sacrifice a creature. I don't know. Let's, uh... Let's mutilate. Oh. Yo, that does help you a little bit. Uh, minus one, minus one for each Swamp I control, which is one, two, three, four. Okay. So this is a Brat. Oh, sick. I get to keep Krinko. That's not bad. Yeah. Mm. Alright, Tori, what you gonna do? You're gonna let your feather die? Okay. I'm gonna. Oh, this is nice. Draw a card. Expedite? You're gonna draw a card, you say, with your outside speaking voice, ma'am? I'm drawing a card and it doesn't help me. <laughs> Alright, that works, yeah. I'm fine with it. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna play a Jeweled Lotus and replay Braids. Love that for you. Uh, uh, we're gonna sacrifice Animate Dead. And then Sham. Hey, your end step? Yeah, my end step. I have a response to the trigger, actually. Okay, yeah. I'm going to uh, lose a life from Green. Uh, I'm actually gonna. Sorry, I didn't. Nature's Claim, your Reverie. It's gonna kill your commander because it has minus four, minus four. Yeah. yeah. But you gain four life. Anyway, now you're good. Okay. Sacrifice the animate dead. Uh, take two. I don't have an enchantment to sacrifice. Me either. Time to rebuild. Same. Do you have an enchantment to sacrifice? No, not anymore. Alright, I'll draw three. <laughs> yeah. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why did you take the card draw engine out of play? Fully? Go ahead. I was gonna use that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Gonna die. Yeah. I'm trying to live. I'm gonna die. Mountain. Yeah, mountain. Look at all those lands. Nowhere to go. Feather cost five. You can just cast that. You could just do it. No one can stop you. All right, There's I'm gonna, no blue. You're right. I'm gonna pitch forcible. Yeah, you're right. Pyroblast. Fuck Pyroblast. You. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. I forgot how to tap for it. Look at that. Are you gonna equip it with Sunforger? Please don't. Isn't this? Oh no, that is five. I can't do math. Why well, I can't equip it? How is it five? It looks like four mana. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Signets don't tap. They do tap for two, but it costs one to do it. Oh. This is Dex. It is Dex. On the bright side, I'm gonna try to kill Foley again. <laughs> Are you going to stop me this time? No. Oh. You didn't even get a chance to board wipe fully did it for you. Oh yeah, she has a board wipe too. Yeah. Oh, am I turning to go to discard? And this card is being reclamation. Alright, alright, alright. What do I do? see what we got. Alright, we're going to do stuff, guys. Yeah. Uh, is, that, are we, is everyone comfortable with that? Mm -hmm. What do you do? <sighs> right. Right. That's a lot. Um... Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna try to rebuild, I guess. Maybe I should like chill. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna chill actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's my Felidar Retreat. Um Felidar Retreat is an enchantment with landfall and I can choose one, right? Um I can either create a two two white cat beast creature or put a plus one plus one counter on uh, each creature I control and those creatures gain vigilance or vigilance if you're uh vigilance. not good at talking like I am. Until end of turn. So we're gonna do that. Um, leaving good mana untapped, I guess. Probably this Plains and Kerpulsen Forest, yeah. So we're gonna play Felidar Retreat, and then 
I'm going to go to combat mm -hmm. fully. Yeah. I'm going to attack you for four, but this triggers. Yeah. That's so it's actually five. five, and I'll make five goblins. Five goblins. Yeah, goblin mode. So it's just five damage unless you want to block. No, I'm good. Now I'm going to play Fable Passage, triggering Fall to Retreat. So this will be the amount of plus one, plus one counters my, my things have on them. And I guess this just gets one. And oh, then, uh... Oh. Wait a minute. Yeah, I passed That ain't no chill. <laughs> that ain't no chill. <laughs> well, I was going to play Jetmere and try and kill someone, but... <laughs> this seems more resilient. Untap. Draw. Bet you ain't ever heard of a 2-2 goblin. Play of planes. Yeah. How plain? Man. It was so not chill. I'm chilling. Uh, man, what do I want to do? I guess I will. Let's see. He costs six. We'll Seems cast like we're playing light pause. Light pause. And then we'll cast hyena number. Ooh, and trigger light pause. There's yep. gotta be more one drops in there, right? Yep. Uh, there's at least Griff Spoon. Griff Spoon. What does that one do? Does it flying and a little buff, and then you can cast it from the grave. Flying on an enchantment, huh? Yeah. What sets that from? That's actually pretty good. Uh, Shadows, I think. Shadows over Anstrad? Yeah. Oh. Wow. I'm gonna help. Yeah. Mainly because I want proof that this card exists. So you have five goblins? Uh, yeah, five two 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 humans. Well, this is just a thing that happens. Yeah. Yeah. That looks like Addison. No, that does look like... I don't even know what that is. Is that Ravnica? I could have sworn it was Shadows. That's a Ravnica. It's not Shadows. It's oh, what is that? That's, uh... Uh, Addison? It is Shadows? Yeah. That's Shadows? I don't even recognize that set symbol of Shadows. Maybe I'm not remembering the set. No, there was... Was there two sets in... When we that, went that back? That went back, yeah, there were, I think there were Yeah, least. there was... It was the other one. Yeah. Uh, Eldritch Moon? Yeah. Yeah. Is that it? Is it time for Braids to do the Braid stuff? Yeah, that's it. No, okay. I will try my best. Let's draw. And play as one. Um, you don't have a fellow to retreat. Let's just do this thing, because I want to do it. I'm going to play Coco Show of the Evening Star. Uh-oh. Hmm. Okay. And then guess what? I'm going to go to end step. Yeah. I'm going to sacrifice Coco Show. Yeah, that happens. Everyone loses five, I gain 15. And then braids. And then braids. Sacrifice a creature or lose two. I'm going to sacrifice a creature. <laughs> I will not. So I lose? Two death, you two life. And five. And then five, yeah. From the I'll draw show. two and I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I will discard a Gary. Gary. Go ahead. Uh, sweet. Go ahead, Tori. Oh. On your end step. I'm gonna expedite. Who would have thought? <laughs> You're gonna expedite? Who would have yeah. thought I would cast expedite again? Imagine drawing cards for one mana. Do you have a white one as well? I wish. No, that sucks. I wish. And that was on his end step? Yeah, so this, it's right there. This just exists, exists in exile right now. Mm -hmm. It's just vibing. Draw for a turn. Draw for a turn. We need to get like a mic stapled to Tori's cheek. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, um. Uh oh. We gotta, we gotta be like dead by now, right? We're dead. I don't have my infinite turn card. So oh, well, I guess we're not dead. Wait, can Sunforger get it? No, because it costs too much mana, I think. CMC 4 or less, yeah. Oh, maybe it is 4. Wait, no, it's an instant, though. Okay. It's a sorcery, right? What's the name of the card? F F F Fortune something? Final Fortune, or Final is it something Fortune, else? Yeah. yeah. But that's a sorcery, I think. Can oh, Sunforger get a card that gets that card? Probably. I don't know. Gamble? Oh. Gamble's a sorcery. Oh, yeah. yeah. Final Fortune's an instant. Final Fortune's an instant? Tori, can you just kill us? Because then you can file. Wait a second. Wait, wait an actual second. Can Tori actually kill us right now? Probably. Really if she has Final Fortune in her deck, then yes. Huh. Well, if, I'm it assuming it she has angels. Is it actually infinite combats, or is it just two combats? You you would get one extra combat. Oh right. It doesn't give you because you die in the next turn, right? You would be compelled then to Sunforger for Angel's Grace. Yeah. Which you can, right? If yeah. Like, okay. But it, I think it's a little bit too many. And, and then Mistville Plains says. Mistville Plains put puts the final fortune back. back in the deck. But that's not infinite. It's not infinite. So we can't win. Rip. Rip killer. Oh. I will have what does she still need then? Nothing. It's just not infinite. 
Sunforger's equipped, lit, amazing. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna attack or are you gonna keep blocking? Hmm. Man. <laughs> are you a coward? I don't like your board. <laughs> Are you eating four fours? I mean two twos? I wish they were four fours. I won't attack you. Probably. It would be a travesty if we played a whole game of Commander and Feather not once got busy. Wait. You yeah, I've been, yeah, she's fine. Been, we're fine. I think I've been hit twice. Yeah. Does Iron Sky have flying? No. Wow. Yeah, I mean, yes. yes, it totally does. Oh. None of mine do. You're gonna attack me next turn. You know, I didn't say that, but I might. <sighs> yeah, it makes sense. How much? Uh, like lots. Four, five, six, seven. seven, that's a lot. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two more of those and I die to your commander, so. That's, that's lots. Yeah. Is that it? You know, we'll look on the end. We'll give him double strike. Draw oh, third. okay. Uh-oh. That's cool. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What is that? It's, it's, uh, it's called Psychotic Fury. It just gives double strike. To a multicolored creature. Is, is that it, Tori? Or do you have, like, plus nine, plus nine? Double strike again. Dead? Yeah. Uh, yeah, can you just kill him? The end of my turn. Okay. Well, now, now I I'm, could kill him right now. I'm like for sure, sure retaliating. Because was... I could do it at any time. Tori, you made it so you have to die. I have to discard. Because I picked up the expedite. What do I want? Tori, what the hell is that for? <laughs> Here's what we'll do. I wonder. Oh, we'll discard Pyroblast because it's so good. Yeah, it's so bad. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna. Look, Tori's at 13. Bet. Bet, 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 bet. Are you gonna try and kill me right now? Do you wanna yeah. live? Bro, if I pass the turn and don't kill you, for the rest of the game, you can just be like, watch your mouth or I'll kill you. I'm not playing that game, alright? <laughs> Forget it. If you thought that's the game you were talking me into, no. Feast or famine, baby. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna probably do this first. I'm gonna fetch. Lose zero, go to seven, because it's a fabled passage. And I don't know if Guy put enough mountains in this deck, because I really want to get a mountain, but... Uh, how bad do I need it? Let's see if there's another mountain. If there's not... There's plenty of forests. Oh, here we go. Mountain. We got a mountain. It came in to play tap, but it untapped itself because of the nature of how fabled passage works. That triggers Felidar Retreat. Oh, yeah. Just bigger. Connors and all your creatures? All of them, yep. Um, and they have Vigilance. Um, and then I'm gonna... I want to do it. Oh, am I gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. Is it? Like... Did you draw from this? I did. Okay. Uh -huh. um, it's it, it's happening. It wasn't my hand, so so it is in my hand. Regardless of what's in anybody's hand, this is about to happen because it has to. Here's Jetmere, Nexus of Rebels. Whoa! You didn't have to go there, but you that. did. Let me know when I can enter combat. You good for me, Tori? Yeah. Aiden. Yeah. Delightful. Um, we're going to start by... <laughs> Foley's got a black man on tap. Uh, well, <laughs> <The darkness. laughs> well, I'm going to set these back here. Because if I'm allowed to declare attacks, that means that when I attack with this Cranko, trigger 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, I'm going to make, you guessed it, 11 one once. Wow. It does have vigilance. I'm just tapping it to yeah. show that yeah, it's no, you're attacking. Good. I think everything, everything you have is... Yeah, because of the Velador Retreat. Um, and then... Foley, that's just coming at you, um, cause I... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and then Tori, everything else at you. Yeah. And that's yeah. gonna be for a total of, uh... Too many. Lethal. <laughs> Fog me. Soulfire, targeting you. And Feather. Target creature deals damage to any permanent. Equal to its power? Yeah, seven. To me? Yeah, to your face. Yo! <laughs> is that your is your Soul's fire. Oh. Soul fire. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, shit. I'll pass the turn. Because <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I'm tough. Wow. This is good. Wow. Draw. I tried to get her to cut that card before we started. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a mistake, cut I guess. This planes down. Oh, my God. Now I'm tapped out and it's just gonna kill me. I hope so. You gotta die. I, I don't have enough firepower yet. Um, got a little bit to go off here, you but not save a lot. Me fully. 
I'll do something. <laughs> Iden, we have to win this game. Stop. I'm now on Team Iden now. No, me and Foley are gonna win. Okay, we're gonna go for... We're gonna play a Johnny's Chosen. Stop. Oh, he's chosen. Yep, chosen by the Johnny. Everyone knows Johnny's always been a little choosy. Right. Um, from there, we play Cartouche of Solidarity. Cartouche, do you have another one drop in your deck? Let's see. Trigger this, though. We get a 2-2. Two -two. I'll help you. Now that I've, I've just executed so mercilessly. Why'd you sandbag it when I was tapped out? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to let you live. I don't think I can win now that you're dead. I wanted you to kill Nothing them. here. But Nothing I think there. All right, so we get one, two, two. Yeah. Well, I got you. Hey, I can do one thing while I'm dead. And it's be token McGee. All right, so a, a Johnny or Iden's chosen. Oh, and then we get a one, one. A one, two, two, and one, 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 yeah? Tori, do you have Teferi's protection in your deck? No colluding, producer. Don't teach her how to win. It's too late. Oh, is it? I could have Teferi to protection instead of killing uh, But it's funnier to kill someone. But, you know what? You know, well, she's tapped I didn't out. Think about that. Let's do it now. <laughs> Let's... Mistakes were made. Swords, Tori. The feather. The feather. Wow, you have no recourse because you tapped out. Deflecting's what? She has Yo! She has, she has recourse! Yo! There it is. Can you We're speak up like you did with profanity? This... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. You're like, don't swear. I want you to keep talking at that volume, actually, so. Can't uh, beat free spells. Can, is this indestructible? Yeah, but Swords doesn't care. Yeah, Swords oh. would not care. Uh, that really sucks for you, doesn't Dead. it? Dead. Okay, so we're gonna end up gaining. That's so bad. Tori two, had it all. Three, what else you got in here? Five life. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> yeah, you guys are dead. <laughs> That's why you're so quiet. Never matter. <laughs> Check it out. Alright, we got two men on tap. We're gonna pass turn. Okay. Tell me right now. I'm going, going to try my best. I hate this. You should have just not cast a spell. You should have just turned your creature back. Apparently. I forgot Deflecting Swat existed because I haven't played Red in a minute, except for just now, but I don't think that deck has Let's play Swan. I got Deadly Relics and Deflecting Swat in this game. <laughs> okay. What's first things first. To do? <laughs> first things first. Tell me, Foley. I actually don't know if this kills, but I'm gonna do it anyway. We're going to incarnation technique, demonstrating with Aiden. Yo, That's hell yeah! I love you. All right, so for anyone who doesn't know about what Calvin knows about, uh, incarnation technique has what's the name of the mechanic, Calvin? Demonstrate. Demonstrate. So Aiden's gonna get a copy, then Foley does it twice. Okay, let's see here. What do I have in the grave here? What are your card targets? Oh, is, I probably Starfield, the Mystic, and Spirit. Spirit? But this is kind of nice too. Uh, Does Core Spirit Dancer draw your card every time? Yeah. I think that's slightly better than SRAM. Yeah. Boom. Alright, you got okay. Core Spirit Dancer. Cool. I'm gonna do the first one. I don't think I'm going to choose anything from what I mill. Oh, because it's already in your graveyard? Right I'm going to get Coco Show. Oh, right. Nice. And Very then cool. the second one is. Three, four, five. I'm going to get Grey Merchant of Asphodel. Oh, cool. And that triggers and does how much? One, two, three, four, five, six? Yeah. Six damage? Six life loss? Six life loss. And then I gain... Twelve. Twelve. Cool. Hey, look, Tori's dead. Um. Yo. Tori, take three. Yeah. Um. Sheesh! What about Aiden, though? He's looking pretty thick. <sighs> what can he hit me with? Nothing. Um, Nothing, but I'm trying to figure out if I use this. Is it good? I don't know what that could be. This commander's gone? Um, yeah, but maybe you want to kill this if it's a kill spell? I'll save it. Or this. Okay, we're going to move to end step. I'm going to do sack Coco Show. Trigger Coco Show? You only gained nine. Tori didn't have five life to lose. Isn't it a creature? No, no. Coco Show triggers. Yeah, well, I, each, yeah. when it dies, each player loses five yeah. life. Um, I didn't go ahead. All right, untap. Oh, I didn't want to sack a creature. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Do you want to sack a creature? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Untap. Oh, welcome to the loser's bracket. I tried. Draw. Thanks for murdering me. You're welcome. We got four, eight here. I just assumed you had nothing. <laughs> no. I looked at your hand. 
Oh boy, oh boy. We're going to... How did the monocolor deck end up as the finalist? <laughs> <laughs> Go to combat. Yeah. Swing at you would just... Oh wait, no, there's no point in swinging at you, actually. Not at the moment. So we're gonna just do setup, I guess. Uh, we're gonna cast... Nomad Mythmaker. Okay. What even is that? Uh, it's a 2-2 Cleric. Tap him, pay a white, put target enchant creature card from your graveyard into play. Enchanting a creature you control. You got a lot of those in there, huh? No, just, it, there's not that many of them. It's enchant creature, right? From your graveyard? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of those in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant a lot of him. Uh, when do you do that? Oh, when I pay a white. Oh, okay, okay. And what? You got a kill spot? What? <laughs> no. Pass. Okay. I I'm does not the draw. Red. We're pretty low on steam. Oh, Let's no. play a swamp. Um. Shit, let's just drop this. Let's just drop Shieldred. What? <laughs> <laughs> this looks bad. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> um. Shit. Um. I don't know what this means, but let's do this too. Uh, Liliana of the Dark Realms. Lit. Ew. Uh, let's plus three, or plus one, wow. What does that do? Uh, search my library for a swamp, put it in my hand. Never <laughs> broken. Yeah. You're not gonna board wipe me? I think it's board better. Yeah. Oh yeah, it would hit him too. Got any cool end step triggers, dude? Oh yeah, definitely. Check it out. I'm oh. gonna sack Liliana. <laughs> <laughs> you gain two because you draw her. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh my god. Draw. Shielder. That's why size ends in the deck. That's amazing. Did you draw another plane? Dude, you're staring at three planes. No, I'm <laughs> reading this card. Uh, I wanted to live in the world where I, he has two planes in his hand. I want him to just draw planes and then just observe his hand. <laughs> <laughs> A planes. Man, oh man. Okay, light pause costs eight, so here's four, six, eight. Yeah, all right, we'll do it. Light pause. Yeah, you got it. Sick. Um, what you gonna put on your your light pause there, buddy? Man, I don't think indestructibility will do it because he probably has toxic deluge. It's in the deck, yes. I can tell you, I don't have it in my hand. Ooh. Well, when you put it like that, I think I need to activate this guy. Shit, I lied. <laughs> Shit. We're gonna put a daybreak coordinate on this. You got it. This core spirit walker, spirit dancer. Or no, trigger? this. This. Yeah. Sorry. Does uh, it trigger? No, but this does, and I get another two. Can't do that. Wait, why not? Read daybreak coordinate. It has to be enchanted, an enchanted creature. Oh shit, shit. That's why it costs Can't two. Yeah, 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 no, you're right. I, I rarely play this card. <laughs> yeah, um, not bless you. Not many people play Boggles. You know what? Hold on. We're gonna add, we're gonna pick this. Or I guess. No, that won't do it. Cause it'll wait. It does lose its abilities. We're gonna try and put try. this on Shieldred. Arrest. Does it lose its activated abilities or all of its abilities? Oh, it's just activated abilities. Yeah, Shieldred passive still got not do it either. Damn. It's too good. Too good. <laughs> Shieldred's fucking good. Yeah, it's too good. <laughs> Is there dark steel mutation in there? There is. Not in the bin. Not in the bin though. Oh. Suck right. suck. Right? Terrible. Um just concede now. No, no, no. <laughs> never give up, never surrender. Here's never gain what butt. we'll do. Here's what we'll do. We'll cry. We'll cry. Uh, <laughs> good. We'll put indestructibility onto Pause. Pause and pray. Well, that doesn't trigger Spirit Dancer, so you don't draw a card, right? But we will get a cat. No, we it's whenever it. you cast, so you're not even casting it. No, when this enters. Oh, yeah. Or when just, an enchantment enters. I'm just paying attention to your Spirit Dancer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, no. What is it, a 2-2 two -two cat? 2-2 two -two cat. There you go. And let's see. Pass. You got it. Oh, draw a card? Go yeah. 59. Is that just... Hang on. Tomb Fortress back, your Kuka show. <laughs> <laughs> Did I play a land? I, I literally just started my turn. I don't think you played a land. No, I don't think so. Okay. 
No, that doesn't do it. Why are you counting too high? So it's, it's a lot of count. Oh, that might just win you the game. No, it's he's counting. Counting that could just win you the game. I'm gonna oubliette light pause. <laughs> oubliette. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. See you, light pause. See ya. It's good to know you. Oh boy. It means anything. It keeps the enchantment. Yeah. Oh, you know what I am going to Tomb Fortress. Oh, nice. I'm gonna exile. I'm gonna get Sizen. Sizen. Oh, oh my God. What Sizen? You're gonna lose six life a turn. Nice. You're gonna draw two cards and you're up. That's what that does, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mill four cards. Oh, I mill four cards first. Yeah, then he'll make me lose two as well. So that's eight. Dark ritual. Oh, check out this dark ritual. Oh wow, what's this? Dark ritual at what is this from? Sickler. Oh, the thirtieth. That is a. That's no, that's a no, that's the uh, Frank Fazetta. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Size on there. Um, bro, I'm just gonna pass. No triggering braids, bro. Oh yeah, braids. Duh, that's a thing. Uh, Grey Merchant. Merchant. Yeah, Grey Merchant's gone. Yeah. Are you gonna sack a creature? Bro. Yeah. No more card draw. Go, go ahead. <laughs> Alright, upkeep the size and triggers. Yep, you draw two, lose two. And then you lose two for each card you draw. Oh. Yeah, lit. And then Love you draw that. for turn, and you lose two. Love that. It was, none of it helped. It was all mana. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Are you god. Done? I think so. Uh, so he's gone, right? Yeah. Uh, so let's lose some more life for the sake of it. Uh, saving grace, not gonna be my saving Sick. grace. Um, I'm gonna draw a card and lose two. Um, that's not gonna help, but here's a Danitha Paragon. Oh, Capuchin. And, oh, he's untapped, my bad. Um, I guess we'll activate him. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, gross. When you cast that um, Saving Grace, did that trigger a Johnny? Yes. 2-2? Two, two. And then I guess we'll put Griff's Boom on. And you didn't cast it, so you don't draw a card. Nope. Just helps a little. Neat. And go to combat. Yeah, I'll take it. Hit you for, what is it, two... Three, five. Do you gain life? No. Hey man, you die in your upkeep. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> also, everything in the Insanguinate. Oh, there we go. Insanguinate. Wow. We that lost that game. I thought I had a chance and then I didn't. We're going to be back if you're watching this live in like 10 minutes with some more Commander. And if you're watching this on YouTube, see you tomorrow.